Let's talk about relational operators. In R, a relational operator is something that will return either true or false, which is a logical result. So for instance, if I want to check whether one is equal to one, I can type in one equals equals one. And we get true out. So yes, one is equal to one. This is really useful for vectors. Say I've got a vector v that is one through 10. And I want to know which elements in V are equal to some number. So for instance, I could check to see which elements in V are equal to one. And the result is of length 10. And the first element is true. So the first element in V is equal to one because we started at one and then went to 10. We can also check to see whether things are not equal to some number. So not equal in R is exclamation point equal sign. So let's see which elements in V are not equal to one. Well, basically everything except for that first element, which was one. We can also check to see whether elements are greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, less than or equal to some number. So let's see which elements in V are greater than five. Think for a second about what we're gonna get out here. Well, we get five falses, and then elements six through 10, which are the numbers six through 10, are all greater than five, so it's returning true. Now let's look at v greater than or equal to five. This is almost identical, except now the fifth element is true, because that is the number five. Let's think for a second about the structure of these results. So I'm going to store our result in an object called test. And let's just use v less than or equal to 7 as an example. Well, what is the class of test? It's logical. And in R, that means all of these entries can either be true or false, but nothing else. All right, how about the length? Well, test is of length 10. And by default, the length of this result is always going to be the same length as the length of the longest input. So v has length 10, 7 is just a number, it has length 1. Our result's going to have the same length as v because it's the longer object. And last, we can also use this str structure function which will give us shorthand for the class. It's logical. This notation means that the indexing goes from one to 10. In other words, this object is of length 10, and then it begins to print the result. 